Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Jedi Survivor playthrough, where we're gonna continue exploring what I have left. And yep, the previous episode was a bit more on the shorter side, but considering how much longer the other episodes were, that were good. And, uh, goes with the uh, average length of the episodes I want to have. Right, already took damage from these guys and why are not showing me this as explored? Are you considering this a literal different area? Oh, actually hold up. It's you or me. Can't I use a uh, Neko to jump on that one? Somehow. Die, shut up. Move on, move in. Oh. Yeah. There we go. There were some Nekos over here. Where are they? Nekos? No, no, I see. Maybe I can. Uh... Jump and grab and actually do this chamber, this rumor. And I just noticed on the map as well that I have another rumor and you have to go back to the cantina and talk with the DJ. There's no seen it on the map. And guess what? Yeah, uh, I can actually access this. So what I saw there probably something entirely different because yeah I was wondering why it shows me that I can access and then I had that thing down there that was red right any so this meditation chamber Seeing any seeds. Okay, open. Let's see how long this takes us. Down we go. Welcome, Jedi. The Thank Force you. teaches us that what our eyes see and our hands touch is not always the truth of the world. The world bends to the will of the Force. As such, it may also bend to you. Alright, so I have one chest, one essence, four data banks, and one treasure. Ah. Okay, so we pull this. Is this gonna go back by any chance? feeling that this actually might be the main way. What's on this side? Or is this actually the main way? Okay, I think... Yeah, this is a side thing. Let's check over here. Hold up. I saw you down there. Nice find. Let's Perfect. take this back to Zeke. So that's the treasure. Only need the essence chest. There we go. Okay, 
That was one that he gave. I'll do this course as many times as it takes. Tenacity. To fail at the trials presented on Kobo was not an option for the Jedi, who were determined to persist until at last they found success. Hey. Alright, that happened. I thought that's gonna stop in the middle. No, come on, Cal. Really? What the hell was this? So we made it here. There's the chest. Perfect. So this was the side thing. Okay, so I need the essence and the data banks. Perfect. Whoa, okay, that almost happened. Now huh. Yes, this is how we do it. Oh, can we drop down? Thank you. Yeah, okay, that's how we're doing it. Can I make this jump and grab it? Uh. Hmm. So we move that one. Okay. There's an echo. Let's get it. Ah. Careful. I haven't trained like this since I was a Padawan. Trials. The task within the Jedi chambers presented trying painful challenges, the likes of many of the likes of which many Jedi hadn't experienced since their struggles as learners. Okay, so that's another data bank. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Grab here, but then what? Seriously, come on. So I guess I cannot get there. Okay. Perfect. I'm exhausted. Keep going. It'll be over soon. We can hope. A candid moment. The Jedi trials on Kobo were tests of body and mind, but also of trust and camaraderie between both friends and comrades. Uh, okay, do I push this actually? I do. Okay, so I guess this is hold up. So that's gonna be for the essence. Right. Mm hmm. And now I, uh. 
Call this one. What about this here? Because you're showing me green here as well. Can I... No, it only goes that way. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, it looks like I can make the jump. So that was the idea. But why are you showing me this one green here? Because there is a path here. I think it's up there. Yeah, perfect. And there's the last echo. Because I noticed the echoes were a bit out of order. A little more. Oh, you must be strong for the task ahead. Yeah, I was missing the 149. And this is concerted effort. The trials of Kobo were testing enough, but whatever mission the Jedi were preparing for was almost certainly greater. No Jedi, therefore, would be allowed to fall behind. I mean, yeah, okay, sounds great, but they're not failing and you're not letting them fail, then maybe they won't be able to learn anything. Jump. Nice and clean. And get here. And this should be over with this chamber. Give me the essence and we're done. I see, it's gonna be health or what? No, park, fellowship. Ah, okay. I suppose that's gonna be for companions at some point. Or maybe regarding BD as well. Who knows? Right, time to get out of here. Beam me up, Scotty. While this is moving. the rumor it's a bit hard to there it is use the cantina jukebox okay but I'm still gonna go ahead and uh, explore the rest of the untamed downs <clears throat> crying aloud Kel come on grab grab it actually I jump up here. It is part of the Untamed Downs. Is that an echo? I think that's an echo that I see over there. Let's see, maybe we have some... Uh, some hidden seed pods over here. Unfortunately, don't think we have this might be just an area that if you want you can glide just for the fun of it okay, I'm not seeing any fireflies really come on can I not get down from here Don't tell me I cannot get down from here. Because it considers that's way too high. 
They have another angle that is a bit more lower than that one. And this looks... Uh, they're not gonna spawn again. Come on, this is right at the end. You're making me spawn back. Okay, we managed. Cool. Perfect. Alright, we have some chickens over there. To be careful with those ones. And that's a locked area. Do we have by any chance. Wait. Uh, this looks like it's gonna get me to a new area by any chance. Okay, that's gonna be towards the other rumor. Any seeds? Yep, boiling bluff. There's actually two seed pods. Looks like a small area. Uh, two seed, seed pods, two data banks. That's a meditation spot. Yeah, and two treasures. Oh, there's an echo. There you are. And I see the seed pods, both of them. Don't kill me. Kill you? I just saved your fool leg. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is raider territory. Aw, poor Turgle. Turgol saved. Doma's first encounter with Turgol was one of her rescue, saving him from a self-inflicted blunder. He was attached to her from that point on. So that's how they met. Uh, you're showing me there is something up here. And you're also showing me a rope somewhere. Is the rope not down yet or... Just not seeing it. I think it's not down yet. There's the other echo. So that leaves the treasures. Okay, yeah, let's rest as well. So it is actually the odd pair over there. Not get to this echo over there. Oh, there we go. Nice. The wheel turns. Although Mosey is uh, known as a hunter, she is not without respect and understanding for the equilibrium of the planet and the natural order of things. Okay, I see more stuff that I cannot use, like those balloons or whatever, floating balls. Right, so I just need the treasures. Yeah, I, I know, I'm on my way. Let me just finish looking around for any treasure or something. Definitely we cannot grab on that. Oh. Now uh, I'm coming now. Now <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I don't see any treasures. If you don't have any treasures on that side, I might just let you there. 
so kind as to dispatch this beast? We will make it worth <laughs> your while. Right. Jump! Okay, skill point acquired. Uh, okay. Is this? Alright. To create uh, more of that. Got it. But unfortunately, I cannot <laughs> use them. Oh. You kidding me? This is a mobile. Hello. You don't have any treasures here? Maybe a bit of. Uh... Okay. I need help, bud. Right. Luckily, I uh, saved here, and that <laughs> happened. And come on, Cal, Can make a rocket jump. because of these guys okay and that balloon well actually this one I wonder if because I did not save never mind okay no don't get stuck over there Properly dodge. Ooh, that was close. Really? Okay, missed. Two out of three. No, come on. Right here, BD. BD, I need help. Can we dodge? Grind out loud. Ow. Okay. Stim. Down to one steam, which is not great. An asshole about it and good night. Okay, first mode down. This is because of the rumor. You don't have any treasures around here? I'm disappointed. Ah, disappointed. Ah, there is actually more to explore. Maybe I missed those. Yeah, I still think there's a treasure up here. Maybe I'll uh, need a Neko to make the jump up there. But I don't know where the second one would be. Well done! What a show! Come here, my warrior friend! I haven't seen such fighting since the championship. Championship? Hello? What do you mean? We are in your debt! What are you doing out here? We were out looking for the biggest, strongest beasts to fight each other. Winner take all. 
Within our Hollow Tactics game table, of course. Hollow Tactics, huh? That's right. And you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game. Just as soon as we find a place to set up shop, of course. My friend might be interested. He runs Pylon Saloon. Ah, uh, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. That dump? I didn't realize it was open. Well, hey. tell you what. We're more than happy to bring holler tactics to Pyloons. Good liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moo. Perfect. Bima and Tully. Tully runs her own holler tactics game with the help of her diminutive employee, Bima, who possesses an outside personality and gift for Gab. All things in their own time, Bima. See you around. All right. So, wait, Hollow Tactics, is that actually what uh, Chewbacca was playing? Against Luke? Is that it? Or it's a different game, game entirely? Uh, okay, I can... Uh, yeah, let's meditate and get all my... Steam's back. Oh, I do have a skill. Yeah. I said it was force. Okay, let's have. And this is for evade, actually, it's not block, so I need to remember that. See if I can uh, make the jump with an echo. And yeah, actually, this was the echo. Never mind. In that spot. Yeah. Yep, I can make the jump. More prior right. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb shop. Perfect. So at least uh, we have that one. Then the second. I have an idea where it could be. It could be at the top of these things. Blocked path. Because there's only one treasure left in there. Okay, we still have a bit in the untamed downs. Still have. 50% to explore. This door is closed. And then we drop down there. And this connects to the other side of the untamed downs. It's all good. You know Might as well use the Neko. You're patrolling, but just let me be. Those are mines. Am I right? And that's a lot of mines. Okay. Glad we didn't panic. <laughs> How do you say it? Hmm. That's gonna be for mine delivery. Got it. Okay, let's get this echo. Huh? Did you do that? Wait, what? No! Okay, technological betrayal. <laughs> the prospectors, grown used to the aid of the roller mines, were surprised and horrified when one day they suddenly turned against them, with catastrophic results. Yeah, that's a uh, way to go, for sure. Okay, we're heading towards the chickens. I see another force field. 
a one. That's a two. And that's a three. Bye bye. Okay, we have a patrol on that side. Oh, uh, it's just that I. It's okay, BD. We'll find another way. Cannot access just yet. Okay. Still haven't found any seed pods. The untamed downs. Right, so we cannot access that. Any treasures? No, no treasures, no data bank. Let's see. Hold up. Can I throw by any chance? Yeah, I can throw, but there's nothing. So I need to go through here, and the cave entrance is that one, right? Okay, and I see how we can get up there. Got it. Oh, hello. That's one down. From the harvest ridge, I think. It was... Alright, so that's a wild mall that I'm seeing there. Since it's not part of the ridge, is this actually another small area? So it is actually part of the Untamed Downs, you know, weird way. Good to know. Nothing. I was about to say nothing to scan around here, BD. It's like an Prospect interesting area. Just didn't stand a chance. Bile Maw Burrow. The Bile Maw can be a vicious creature, but mostly in defense of its territory. They find shelter from the elements, but only build nests in order to give birth and rear their young. Any interloper interloper who would intrude on that space is therefore fair game yeah that's uh, really concerning right but okay I can grab here all right climb to the ceiling see chest That's quite an arsenal you've got there. Oh. Arsenal? What? Why do you ask this of Gara? Business is none of yours. I'm not here to make trouble. What do you plan to do with all this? I present as gift to Ravens. Great tribute, yes? Tribute? You mean you want to join the Raiders? Join the Raiders, yes. No more prospecting, no longer other saying weak of Gara. Much glory and blood of Ravens. The raiders are dangerous, and not known to strike deals. Danger, eh? Gara gorge self on danger. Gara live for thrill of kill, but you are not killer like Gara. You are deaf to the call of battle. Okay, right. gotta see. I guess I'll leave you to it. Good. Yes, leave. There's ah. much to do. What? Did I miss the chance? You take more time of Gara. Just seems dangerous to be bargaining with raiders. Danger, eh? Gara, gorge okay. self on danger. Are you gonna give me the prompt again? Gara, live for thrill or kill. But you. Yep. You do not want to join the raiders. There we go. Gara, 
Azamantha join the Raiders? Uh, let me go for illegal. Contraband like this could attract the attention of the Empire. Contraband like this? Dangerous. Gara is no friend of Imperials. No, no, deal is off. Too risky. Contraband. Here, you take. Gara no wants. <laughs> All right then. Thank you. Also, I did not see Gara here. I saw a sword chest. And weirdly enough, it was the angle. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, okay. Is this? Untamed downs, so one chest. So yeah, I saw the chest, but, and then all of a sudden. But how it was the angle, that's why I didn't notice Gar over there. Alright, can we talk more? Are you just gonna leave all this here? You takes contraband. Gara gets rid of rest. Too risky for keeps. Eh, eh, you here still? You takes contraband. You leave. All right, got it. Hey, we got the chest, and Gara is not gonna join the raiders. KBD. Okay, is here to scan, or is just the echo? I think he might just this be the echo. This is all a big misunderstanding. Honest. You gotta let me go. Oh yeah. Why should we? Uh, I can be of use to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Whatever you want. I'm your frog. Oh, we'll see. Boss is looking for something. Find it, or we'll find you. Turgol makes a deal. Turgol, having crossed the ruthless Beldam Raiders attempts to take shelter in a nearby cave. Failing to shake his pursuers, however, he begs for his life, making a dark bargain he will later come to regret. And we're finding a lot about Turgol, which is interesting. I'm curious if it's gonna be more to him than... than it we see. Huh. Right, in the meantime... There's only one path inside here that we can go. And that's gonna be it for the Untamed Downs and more or less what I can explore around. What's available. So we're still gonna have some rumors. Wasn't there a rumor more on this side? No. So we only have the Rancor and what we have at the Cantina to visit back. Right, there was a journey. Yeah! And we have play Holo Tactics game, use the Saloon's Jukebox and then find the missing prospectors. That's the only things we have in terms of rumors. Okay. So which way would be for this here? Basically, backtrack through the ridge. Any chickens around? I don't want to have any surprises. Okay, so we're here, and I think, yeah, we just need to loop around, do a U turn. If we keep alongside this wall on the left, he's <clears throat> actually here. Just trying to see if there's something extra, but it's not. Okay. This, we know it's uh, towards that, this area here. Which we cannot do anything about it. Yet, that is. And what's gonna be on top here? Any seeds? 
Oh, there is a chest there, which again I cannot access. And I see an echo. And this looks like. It's okay, BD. We'll find another way. Yeah, it's connected to that one. No, I, I kind of find out what's the connection between those kind of chests and that resistor thing. I'm gonna say it like that. This you can't even open. Right. So it's just the echo, and that's it. The, the charge is set. Get back. What? Nothing? Uh, I thought you said this was good thermite. Key okay. breaking, not entering. A group of prospectors attempt to gain access to the sealed facility in the center of Rambler's Reach Valley. However. They are frustrated and humiliated by failure. Seeds. What do you think, PD? Bring it back to the garden. And in the meantime, we found more seeds. Oh, and this actually loops back down here. So I could have taken this. Really? I could have taken this path. It would have been the same area. Uh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> went the other way around the long way Alrighty then and Yeah, that should be Everything that's available right now to explore and that puts us Just over 50% yes. I know uh, we have the door here, but we need to deal with uh, The spawn of Ogdobog doll or whatever and I don't think we can do that right now. We could potentially deal with the Rancor now that we advance more in level. But not sure. Anyway, let's go towards the Salon. Maybe first do a quick detour to our usual meditation spot right outside. I do have the one in the Salon as well though. But uh, nah, for now I'm gonna take the one outside and then we'll see. I'm just gonna cut a couple of bushes along the way. Maybe there are some seeds hidden there. And then we have the guys with the rumors. I don't know if they're There's gonna the have anything extra to say. Wondering, is there anything up atop this arch here? I think I might have a gliding falcon or whatever vulture. I don't think there's anything on top of that, so I'm just wasting time. Heard you cleared out that watchtower. You heard right. Not bad. I didn't think you could hack it. Let's just hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Hmm. Yeah, the watchtower. So, hello. Oh, hello there again, Cal. Hey, Tina. It is good to see you. You too. Is this the home you were talking about? Correct. Within there are some possessions. I don't suppose they will need them anymore. So feel free. Look around. Are you sure? I have no need for them. For your help, I insist. Thank you. What do we have? Just a chest? Yeah. Nothing else, maybe an echo. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Tina. That's another chest down. Seven more to go. To have all the chests here. Right, I can't remember. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. 
What did the Raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. Place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah, and there's always one turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see you're having fun. What? Nah, huh? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, where are the other people that gave me the rumors? Let's see if we have any closing conversations with them. I believe there was one on this side. Yep, but he's not here. Maybe he moved or completely left. Who knows? Nobody else around here? Yes, those guys gave me the rumors and that's it. Uh, actually, let's visit Doma. Just curious to see. Glad to hear the Mantis is up and running again. Hard to imagine life without her. Ah, oh, don't worry. That thing's as sturdy as a bantha. Not sure Grease would like his ship compared to a bantha. <laughs> Do I look like I care much what he thinks of me? No, you don't. That's right. I don't see what all the fuss is about with that droid. I think she's talking about Z. It's like that's all people want to talk about. A droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, <laughs> let, let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors of the week. Like what? We once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. Fifty credits a pop. Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Whoops. Uh, not fun. <laughs> see, stuff that's new is exciting, sure. But what really counts is consistency. Reliability. Okay. Thank you for the conversation. I don't suppose there is anything extra in this room. Nope. Do you have any quest around. items in the shop? So we have the That's key one of my favorites. Code. And then what? Music track. Yeah, we can uh, put at the jukebox and that's it. Come back anytime. Yeah. From time to time, in case maybe you get. Heard you found Beam and Tully way out yonder. Wish you'd left them out there. Hollow betting is a terrible vice. <laughs> Someone is not happy. Right. I'm hoping maybe at Doma we can uh, get more quest items. It says me. Grease. I should probably get back to the kitchen. Rush hour should be starting any time. Is there really a rush hour? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean we get a crowd or anything, but it's still a rush for me. Seems like you're happy here. I like seeing that, bud. I've got a kitchen and plenty of places to hide. I'm doing just fine, but I do miss my ship. The Mantis misses you too. Yeah, sure, I'll bet it does the way you fly. <laughs> get out of here, it's almost rush hour. Feel cold out. Now, where to start? Our goal. Doing good, Grease? Did not now. I get the feeling monks secretly turn this place from pylons to monks. Going behind my back, trying to make my masterpiece into his masterpiece. Whatever. I gotta figure out what he changed, if he changed anything. Also, there's hey, Kuva good in the aquarium. Just saw him uh, swim. No, oh, Bode is here. Did you choose that paint job for the Stinger Mantis? Or was that Grease? It's a little flashy for my taste. Hey, when you're the galaxy's most wanted, you might as well go out in style. The Mantis has gotten us out of more scrapes than I can count. 
She could do with more regular maintenance, but I couldn't ask for a better ship. Then she lives up to her name. If I were you, I'd ride that thing until the thrusters fell off. That's the plan. Just don't let Grease hear that. We're ready when you are, Cal. Let's get a move on. Copy that. Hey, Mosey. I taught you to hunt, Mosey. Well, yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Yes and no. I'll look after things while you're gone, Cal. That's right. The outpost is under our watchful eyes. Easy there, cowboy. I feel better already. Turgo. Any chance about all those echoes we found out? What's going on? You're back! Oh, it's really good to see you. It's good to see you too. How are things around here? Between you and me, I think the management is much improved. No more raider trouble here? Any threats we should be aware of? Well, not since you put Ravis on the run. Come to think of it, they've been very quiet since then. That's what worries me. Really? Don't worry about this place, Cal. I have everything under control. <sighs> that kind of definitely feels something I need to worry about. Okay, you're new, but we can talk. Cage? Back. Guess you're not dead. Hope you weren't placing any bets. Please. It'll take more than cutting down that chump thief to impress me. Take down a real killer. Then maybe I'll wager a credit or two. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes. But the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's priorite. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale. And Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear. And sealed his fate. Yikes. Also, yeah, for a moment I was confused, like... I did not think about the slate of hand. So, like, what do you mean you... You realized he was a swindler because of his long sleeves. Like, maybe that's his style. But then she mentioned the slate of hand, and I was like, ah, okay, makes sense. I must be alone now. All right, all right. DJ. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, I don't know what's better here. Yeah, let's have this one. Meet me at the sub-block table. Ash? Hey, glad you both found Pyloons all right. Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Javi, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Man, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. Speaking of that, where's the song? Quite the selection. All right, let's hear it. So, let's go for this track. There it is. I don't know why did not start. Hit me up if you hear any good valley sounds, all right? You got it, Ash. Sure. Say, Cal, what do you make of this place? 
Not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Lots of potential. Yes, well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. <laughs> what about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with moles I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Not now. Barkeep. All right. Enjoy. Hey, Monk. Hey, Monk. You look tired. Take a load off. Ever pick up any good tips from bartending? For starters, every client has a tell. What's my tell? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a tell. <laughs> Fine. So what's your tell? My incurable honesty. Careful out there, sport. Seems plenty of sinister fellows are coming out of the woodwork these days. Hey, thank you, Monk. See you later, Monk. For that tip. I don't think there's anybody just chilling in the bathroom. I'm just curious because we are getting uh, quite a lot of characters inside here. Let's go over. The tale continues. When we last spoke, I oh. warned of the Grapnel's arrival. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp like a. Like a, like a fish, like the nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted, aye, aye, the loading ramp. Now, nah, nah, will you hush and let's do the tell the story? <sighs> her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk you never did see. And led by the vilest of them all, Captain Wan Yek Wet, the bearded bezelous bat that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. Wait, cried Wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, well, I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be a lock. I'll be requiring another from a crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal, if I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, if only I'd never stepped off my wee rock. But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure, and I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Whit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit... More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. Alright, and... We heard that story for Hey, one yak wet. When a foreign fishing crew arrived to plunder Sakavitars' seas, Skuva struck a deal. He would lend he lend them his talents on the condition that they never fish on his homeward. He joined the crew and set off on the Grapno, a starship captained by a vile basilisk called Vanyak Wet. Alright, so we finished that story that I was getting interrupted. Coward. Hey, Scuba. How's the water? Ah, oh, fine. I just wanted to thank you for lending me your tank. Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. 
Let's keep them all spinning, eh? We will. Hey there. Oh, this place is starting to fill up, Cal. Guess the word is out. It's looking pretty good. Oh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like... like the start of something historic. What if, centuries from now, there's a city here? Even Eldera was just a lumber colony once. Doma better start investing in urban planning. True. Turgle told me he named a road after his foot. Take care out there, Cal. You too. Oh, we'll do. Okay. The, you asked the... how life was different in my day. For one, I believe we were more charitable to one another. Yeah. The Empire has everyone so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew out my motivator. I was perfectly aware and completely immobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going. For a while. Cal, I don't want to be that droid, but Tangle <laughs> won't discover itself. True. Do you Cal, have anything else? Keep work slot, and then we have... Or parts, but I don't have a lot of data disk for now. Okay, where is the ah? The gambling should be here. Interested in a game of hollow tactics? Just gonna interact. Ah, our savior returns. Let me make a proper introduction. I am Bima Ook, and this is my associate Talimu. As you can see, we have set up the game of Hollow Tactics here in Pailoon Saloon. I'm Cal. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Ah, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. <laughs> exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Back for your next challenge. Interesting. All right. Uh, select the opponent, opponent you'd like to challenge. All right. Unique rewards. Spend your battle points to purchase units and place them on the table. A challenge lasts multiple waves. Losing a wave results in defeat, requiring you to restart the challenge. Ah, oh, great. Additional battle points will be awarded each wave and any unused points. Okay, win all waves. Is this like, uh, like tower defense? New units unlocked. I suppose. Okay, select an opponent. Two locked Grease or Torgal. So we get some treasure and then uh, just some cosmetics afterwards. We can uh, challenge Kuva, Tina for another treasure. And then uh, we still have like one, two, three more guys. Alright. So uh, it's a recording? When do I start talking? Let's, uh, let's try something. Do a match. So he, Turgal has what? Two melees by the looks of it. I think they are normal ones. Hopefully. Okay, uh, I have two battle points. Uh, six actually. Uh, Okay, let's see how it goes. Advance! Obliterated! Come on. Oh, so long, farewell! Last one! 
Não tem mesmo botão. Really? We can't all be winners. Three stormtroopers against two melee. Are you for I real? Won. I won. How do I turn this off? Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Let's give it one more try. You'll never beat me. Uh. Okay, let's go for the more elite ones. I thought maybe it's gonna be in terms of numbers. Oh, it never stood a chance! All right. And Cal comes out on top. He's advancing. Okay. Uh, F. Twelve. Ooh, he has an elite security droid, maybe. Should I go for four commanders? You know what? I'll go for four commanders. Again, I'll try in uh, numbers. Now that's nice. Okay. Nice. Sorry, Turgol. Right, 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 shard. Oh no, my high score. Okay, so we got that reward. Perfect. Yeah, I guess. Expand your forces, scan enemies. We'll be waiting here at the table. Yep. Perfect, perfect. Okay, that should be everything then. And did that actually... Oh, I wonder if it... Uh, I don't think it matters for the saloon. Because we had the treasure from the toilet. Yeah, so hopefully that's going to be for the whole area. Anyway, I think we're past the one hour mark. I don't know. I have a feeling. So I'm just going to go down the stairs, rest, and all that. Come on in. Grab a spot at the bar. Okay, you're cooking. And we'll continue next time, which... Either I'm gonna try to fight the Rancor more, or we're just gonna go to Jeddah. There's nothing else we can uh, do around. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care.